My name is Carolyn Duncan, and I am an estate planning attorney with Duncan Legal, located in Centennial, Colorado. We serve Arapaho, Denver, uh, Douglas, and Jefferson counties. So, you're interested in doing an estate plan, and you have children, and you want to know, what are my options for how do I leave my children an inheritance? If you're under the age of 21, Colorado is going to hold your inheritance in trust until you reach the age of 21. That doesn't mean you don't have access to the money. What it means is you're going to have a trustee who's going to set this money in an account. It could be a bank account. It could be an investment account. It really is going to depend on how much money is there, but it doesn't mean you don't have access to the money. So if you are over the age of 16, but you're not yet 21, your trustee could decide, hey, you need a car and they would go buy a car on your behalf. And that's how their job works. And once you become 21, any funds that are remaining in the trust become yours outright and free of trust. You can do what you want with them. So what happens if Grandpa Joe did have a will or he did have a trust and the specific provision giving you the inheritance says, hey, little Susie, you get access to your money at a certain age. That's known as a beneficiary trust. And what happens is when you obtain that age, then you get any monies left over outright and free of trust. Now, sometimes it could say, little Susie gets the trust at age 25 and can do what she wants with it. Sometimes it might say they get 25% at 25 years old, they get 50% at 35, and they get the balance at age 50. But at some point, you are going to get control of that trust. It just depends on how old you are. But then Grandpa Joe may have a concern and he may put in his will or his trust what is known as an asset protection trust. So that means you're going to have a trust that you never gain control over, but he's doing it for a purpose. He's trying to protect you from you. So that means if you got married and got a divorce, your ex-spouse would not get any of your inheritance. Or if you were in a car accident or you were sued for whatever reason, the people suing you could not gain access to any of your money. Or heaven forbid you're having financial troubles and you had to declare bankruptcy. The bankruptcy court cannot gain access to your monies. And the reason for that is an asset protection trust is a third party trust. That means Grandpa Joe is setting it up on your behalf with a third party trustee. So you don't have control of it and that's how we protect it. But again, the trustee is there to serve you. They're there to provide for your health, your maintenance, your education, maybe get a new, uh, put a down payment on a house, buy a new car. You're directing them. It's just you never gain actual control of the money yourself. So how do you decide whether you're going to leave your child's inheritance in a trust or not? Well, it's going to depend on your child. And of course, you know them best. If they're a minor, you never want to leave them money outright. You are going to put it in a trust for them. But if they're an older child, then you need to look at their personality. I was born an old soul. If I got money at a young age, 21, I probably would have gotten that fancy car and maybe had a party, but I would have been smart enough to know I needed to put something in investment or maybe a down payment on a house. My brother, on the other hand, he would have said, fast car, big party, woohoo, let's go. So depending on whether your child is financial savvy or not is going to determine whether you give it to them outright and free from trust or if you're going to protect them from themselves. And at that point, you have to figure out, is it going to be an age-based trust or is it going to be an asset protection trust? So as a parent, 
We all know your children are your priority. And that doesn't end when you're trying to come up with your estate plan and how you're going to leave the inheritance to your children. Call Duncan Legal, let's schedule an appointment, let's go over your options, and let's figure out what's the best solution for you and your children.